Eddie Wheat of St. Bernard Parish builds duck and turkey calls for Wheat's custom calls. After hunting season, he spends his time trapping coyotes to help curb their ever-growing population. On this segment of Sportsman TV, he'll show you how to prepare and set traps so you can manage the predator population in your area. Since deer season's over with, you know, we always looking for something to do and uh, I started building a couple coyote calls and I said, you know what, let's try to get in uh, trapping them. This is the first set of uh, traps that I bought. Like I said, it came with the kit, earth anchors. This is what goes down in the ground, secures your trap, keeps it in place. You can get them online easily at Duke's, you know, online, Amazon, anything like that. You know, When these traps came in brand new, I pressure washed them. I got all the grease off of them, all the funk off of them and I wanted them to rust a little bit. The only way to dye and wax really grabs a hold to the steel is if it's rusty. After I got it rusty, I, like I said, I balled it in my dye and it became this black color that it is now. After I put the screws in, then I heat up my odorless wax. This is wax, you know, has no odor, no scent in it, scentless, you know, so I submerge the trap in the wax. It takes a few minutes or so for the trap to turn colors and you'll see, you'll see when the wax grabs a hold of the trap and then after that, I'll just shake it off and off the dry. Here we are, the dyeing wax is already on the trap. It's been sitting and drying. As you can see, the tongue is a little stiff because the wax and that gets in the little swivel parts of the trap and that. So what I'm looking to do now is loosen the trap up and get it ready for trapping. So I gotta get these screws out for one. So me, I'm gonna put these white boots that we wear down here, right here on my trap. I'm gonna open it up a little. And I'm gonna pull my screws out. Don't put your fingers in the jaw of the trap. Now we're gonna work the trap. I'm gonna work the trap. I'm gonna work the springs a little bit, make sure everything's freed up and ready to go, you know? Knock off some extra wax. And we're gonna reset, like I said, reset this tab. The waxing and drying, all of that, it's done. Now it's time to loosen the trap up. Meaning that the wax will get caught in these little pivot points of the trap, the springs and that. So we're gonna work the trap a little bit and we gotta, we gotta loosen this trigger up, you know? See how it sticks a little bit? So I'm gonna reach around, there's a set screw right here, then I'm gonna loosen up just a little bit, and then I'm gonna try my thing. It should fall on its own weight. You don't want it to get hung up. You want that coyote to come by there and just look at it crooked and go off, you know? So we're gonna work this a good bit. Try to get that excess wax out of there. See there? See how it's falling? That's what I'm looking for. Everything's ready. We just need to secure it, make sure we're gonna be secure in the ground. So this particular trap right here, we're just gonna hook an earth anchor to the chain. Some people use swivels to connect them. Some people add chain. There's a million ways, more than one way to skin a cat, but for this right here, we're just gonna hook this earth uh, anchor to the trap. Okay, our next step is to get some dry dirt. I need dry dirt to make my set. I'm just gonna scratch it, this top part, you know, this top saw. I don't wanna dig, especially down here. It's a lot of clay, real ho horrible ground for trapping anyway. But, uh, so we're gonna get this top saw as much as I can. And we're gonna put it in this bucket here. All right, so we got our dirt. Still needs to be sifted though, you can see. Lumpy in that, so. I'm gonna use this sifter off of Amazon. All this stuff, y'all. You can get on Amazon off the computer, you know, no, no problem. Plenty to choose from. But anyway, I'm going to take this sifter. I'm going to take the dirt that I just dug, that topsoil there. I'm going to sprinkle it over here, and I'm going to sift it. I'm looking for the fine stuff. This here is what I don't want. And it's not going to do me any good out there. So, fill in your potholes with that in the yard. Now, this is what I'm looking for. Real fine real loose and you see it looks like sand almost that's what I need okay here we are I found a nice spot you know this is what's been working for me it's a crossing a natural crossing well it's four-wheel trails or uh, hiking trails or things of that nature you know I've seen some fresh dog tracks right up the road they coming back and forth right here on this crossing so what I'm looking to do is make my set right in this area, right in this area here. That coyote, before he steps into that trap, he wants to be able to see both ways, all the way around. 
You don't want him in a spot where he's jammed up behind a tree or something like that. It just he, he's spooky in here to avoid a trap. So you want it kind of out in the open. You want him to have visibility all around and feel safe, feel at home. First thing I'm gonna do is that you can see I took my uh, Reebok off. I got my lacrosse hip boots on. I don't want to do any kneeling or any work around here in plain clothing. So I want to keep it always scent free as much as possible. This is a multi-purpose tool. It came with my first coyote set that I got, you know, and uh, it comes with a, a little shovel, which I'm going to dig a little hole with it. And it uh, comes with a hammer on one end that I'm going to set my stake with. And it also comes with a little hoe on the back end of it to bust the ground up with and make my bed the way I'm going to set my trap. So, so we want this hole on maybe like a 45 degree angle from you where you want your coyote to enter from. So we're going to put it on an angle so and on a 45 this way. You don't want to go straight down or too far. You want about a 45 so I want to go as deep as I can and get that dirt. Now you can open it up a little bit and take that dirt and you want to leave it right here. I want that coyote to come here and think something's in that hole. I want him to think it's his food. You know, may it be a mouse or a bird. I want him to think that somebody got some leftovers in there and he's all fut. Now, here comes the tricky part. We have our hole on our angle. We establish our sight. Now, I want to be two to three inches from the, to the right side of my hole, which puts me about right here. Now, for a coyote, I want to be nine inches back. So I'm looking at about right here. This is where I want my pan. So let's just bust the ground up a little bit. Just as big as your trap. Now you don't, don't get out of hand. And you see this kind of stuff? Hold on to that because we're gonna reuse that kind of stuff to, once I'm finished all of this. Now I'm gonna put a little ditch right here. And the reason for that is that this is where my, my anchor's gonna be, right here. And in, in the chain of the trap, I'm gonna lay it in that hole. That's just the way I do it. Okay, that, that looks that looks good enough and deep enough. I got a lot of dirt on the side here that we're gonna pack the trap down with. Double check my my pan. Make sure my trap's gonna set. Good and sturdy, you know. You don't want your trap rock and you know, on level, you know, you want it as level as possible. So this looks good. This looks good. If you notice, I have my trigger facing away from me. I don't want my trigger facing towards me and have a coyote come in here and step on the trigger and then back off away from my trap. I want him, if he does put his foot there, the first thing that he touches is my pan. Okay, so now I'm going to set my trap. Now, I open my jaws right here. Never put your fingers in them in there. I lift this jaw up and push down on this one. Take my trigger and I'll shove down. Reach from around and set my pan. Let up on tension. Now, like I said before, listen to the click. Now, that's a head trigger. That's what you call a night set. Don't put your fingers around there. Keep your fingers clear. Grab your jaws from outside. Push down on it. Now your trap is set, so now it's time to be extra, extra careful. Okay, now we go back to the bed that we made. Trap set, holes dug, ditch is dug, trap goes back in the bed. I'm going to work it. I'm going to work it a little bit. I want this trap sturdy as possible. See, we don't want this trap to rock at all. See how it's moving slightly on this end right here? This one looks good. This side looks good. But right here, we're slightly moving. So we're gonna, I'm going to push a little dirt underneath there just to get that trap oh, as steady as possible, you know? Don't be scared to use the dirt a little bit, you know? But I placed this piece of screen. As you notice, I got a little notch cut out on it. But I'll take this piece of screen and I'll slot it right over my trap. That's so the dirt doesn't get inside of my trap or in between the jaws or anything can interfere with the trap going off. Another little handy tool comes with the anchors. It's got a little notch in it. It's a long rod with a, a nut on it, weld on the end of it. And anyway, your anchor fits right now, like so. I want to drive this in the dirt right about here. 
I'm gonna drop it home. Now, up you come. Cover your hole up. Now, when that coyote gets in that trap and goes to pull on it, that anchor's gonna turn, right now it's vertical. But when that coyote pulls on it, it's gonna flatten out and he ain't pulling it out of there. Okay, so now's the time we put our dry dirt on. Here's our dry dirt that we have. We're gonna sprinkle the dry dirt. See how my screen stopped the dirt from getting in the trap. Now remember where your pan's at now. But we're gonna sprinkle a good bit of dirt here. They say an inch and a half, two inches, you know, it, it all depends. Then I have a couple sticks. I do not want that coyote to approach from this side. I want them to come, like I said, we're gonna create some type of funnel. That coyote is not gonna to wanna to come over this, you know. But the purpose for my stick is, I'm, I'm gonna put one here. You know, like right here. You know, that way I know that coyote is not gonna come here. Around the backside. You don't want the coyote to come around the backside or the sides, you wanna create a type of funnel. I'm also put one right with the limb trees and I'm gonna make it like a fence, you know. Like right here. Also on the other side, I want to get that coyote up in here. I already got some nice natural stuff already there, so don't break it out the way. Leave it there. Use it. You know, I'm going to stick one right here. And as you can see, the only way that coyote can get in here and check that hole is this straight on. Our last step before we leave here is uh, I done kick some leaves around by kneeling down and all that stuff, but I'm going to take these leaves and I'm gonna sprinkle them back. Where my knees were and that, you know, you want it to look natural. And I'm no expert, but I think that should be a coyote. Yeah.